What's up y'all, Rusty here with a new achievement guide, this time for Left 4 Dead 1's Untouchables, which is to take no damage after contacting the rescue vehicle. Now this may sound like an impossible task, but never fear, Rusty is here with a very easy and simple technique to get this achievement. So the first thing we're going to do is load up a death toll easy game for map 5, the boathouse finale. And one thing you need to make sure you do is, if you're playing on your own, you want to play as Francis. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because if you don't play as Francis, the bot will take the shotgun. And you want all of the survivors, so the bots, to take long range weapons. Um, if you don't take Francis, he'll always take the shotgun because that's his weapon preference. So now if we have a look here, we've got the bots taking assault rifles for Lewis and Bill, and Zoe with her hunting rifle. So now we're just going to play through as normal until we reach the finale, which is the boathouse here. We're going to go inside and set the radio off once, just so nothing new spawns. Um, and then we're going to go on a mad kill spree and kill all infected on the map. Which is a lot easier than it sounds. All you need to do is chuck a couple of pipe bombs to the left and right side. Um, we're focusing mainly on the left side we want to clear out because um, that's where we're going to be holding out. I should mention earlier, we're going to be holding out on the dock. Um, so now what you need to do is we're ready, we're going to take whatever weapons we want. Um, I'd suggest an assault rifle or a hunting rifle, obviously, because it's for long range or at the back of the dock, which is why we wanted to play as Francis so the bot doesn't take the shotgun. Um, and I'd also just suggest a Molotov, the end horde, just to cover the dock with fire so that nothing can attack you, because it does tend to get swarmed at the end, and a pipe bomb doesn't usually work as well as a Molotov, that bit. So now we're just checking that there's no infected in the uh, left side, looks pretty clear to me, so we're going to set it off. Make sure the bots are outside so they don't get stuck on the window when they're trying to leave the house because bots are retarded like that. Um, so now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the back of the dock where the little stair bits are and we're going to sit there. Oh, look, gas can. Just chuck that to the end of the dock just because, you know, it might come in handy. Um, and we're going to sit on the stairs and hope that the bots move back. They will stay at the front for a bit because they're weird and stupid, but then they'll start to move back when the hawk comes. Right, so we're just going to sit tight for now. Um, there you go, bots are starting to move back towards you now. One thing you do want to watch out for though is that bots tend to move around a lot. As you can see, Lewis just keeps walking in front of me. Um, obviously, friendly fire does count towards the against the achievement because it's any damage whatsoever taken by any survivor uh, will ruin the achievement for you and you've got to start all over again. So you want to watch out for those bloody moving bots going, look, there you go, Zoe's doing it again. So you just want to wait till they sort of settle down in an area before you start shooting. Um, and sort of aim slightly above head height just in case they do decide to walk right in front of you when you shoot. But one thing that I will say is that um, what bots lack in intelligence they do make up for incredibly with accuracy. Um, you can do this achievement with friends but I'd say it's a lot easier just to do it on your own because bots with hunting rifles and assault rifles are incredibly accurate and will pick off anything in front of you. Uh, especially in this sort of wide open area they've got coverage of pretty much all angles of any infected coming towards you. Now the majority of the special infected are, again, useless, the bots can pick them off straight away, but um, smokers have a tendency to walk right round the back of the map and hide behind this rock here, there you go, there's one. So, you know, every now and again just look back to that rock, because that's where the smokers will always hide. Um, we've got our tank now, which again is not really much of a problem, because he always spawns quite far away, either behind this house there, or the boathouse to the right, just there. Obviously that's where he spawned now, um, and again, just unload into him, he's quite far away. His rock attacks can be a problem sometimes, because depending on how close he is, the rocks can reach you, but the, most of the time they just rebound off the dock here. So there you go, tank's dead, nice and easy. Uh, whip out your pistols. I'd say you want to stick to your pistols for the horde, because you know you don't want to waste ammo. You want to save that for the tank, because you want to take them out as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is obviously with everyone with tier 2 weapons. Again, the horde's not really that much of a problem because the bots can take it out real quick, but, you know, just unload into the mob when you get a chance. Just, you know, slow it down a bit because the dock can get swarmed pretty easily if you're not paying attention. Another thing to note is that you should not take pills. Not that you're going to need to because you shouldn't be taking damage, but um, if you do take pills, the slow temporary reduction of health that it gives actually counts against the achievement as well. Um, so if you take pills then your health going down will um, act as damage for some reason, I don't know why, but yeah, so just make sure you don't take pills or make sure the bots don't take pills. Um, oh, there's another smoker there, again keep watching on that rock because they tend to hide behind there. As for the other specials, boomers tend to walk across the hill to the left hand side and hunters tend to jump from the boathouse to the two darker trees where I'm shooting at now. So yeah, just gonna sit here and take out the horde, wait for the next tank. Ba, ba, ba. 
You can also do this achievement on dead air if you have some sort of aversion to death doll. Um, you hide behind the plane on the hill because it's a very sort of open space. It's not quite as effective because the distance between you and the horde is a lot smaller and uh, there's no dock to funnel in the infected. Uh, oh, here's our next tank. Um, oh, that's another thing to point out. If you do it on dead air, the tank can actually get stuck behind the plane and make things a lot easier for you if you're doing it with friends. Um, but I'd still say that death toll is your best option because uh, I'm doing pretty well here, as you can see. This is only my second attempt. Yeah, the first time I did it, uh, Lewis got hit by a rock. Almost like that, you know, pretty much. Um, but the bots at this time are uh, sort of standing a lot further back. Um, in my first attempt, they were standing right on the edge and got walloped right in the face by a rock, just like that one. As you can see, tank's dead again. Nice and easy. Um, this is our final horde now. I'm just going to set off this gas can just to buy us a little time um, until the boat arrives. Oh, here it comes. I can hear it. Just make sure nothing sneaks up on you from the side. It does get quite intense at the end, so stay alert. Um, I'm just going to chuck this last molly to resume the firewall at the end there. So here we go, boat's here, get on board, quick! There we go, bot should follow, and there we are! Hopefully the achievement should pop up, and there it is, untouchables! And there we are, nothing to it really, it is quite simple. Uh, it may take you several tries just to perfect the strategy, but you know, you'll get it in the end, it's really not that hard. So yeah, I hope this was helpful, and I shall see you in the next video.